Welcome to the future of Triple E channel. I am Siddharthan. We are discussing about the speed control methods of three phase induction motor. In the previous video, we have seen the circuit diagram of voltage source inverter in VBF control using PWM method. In this video, let's see the circuit diagram of voltage source inverter in VBF control using six step switching. Actually, in VBF control method, both magnitude and frequency of line voltage has to control based on the desired rotor speed of three phase induction motor. But using six step switching in voltage source inverter fed three phase induction motor, it is only possible to control the frequency of line voltages. So when we are using six step switching, the magnitude of voltage will be controlled in the rectifier. Ok, here let's see how frequency control is done using six step switching. First, let's consider three phase voltage source inverter consisting of six IGBT switches as shown here, which will be connected to three phase induction motor. For simplicity, I have not shown the induction motor here. Inverter can also be made up of six thyristor switches. But keep in mind that if you are using thyristor as switches, then you need to have a separate commutation circuit to turn off the thyristors, that is to reverse bias the thyristors in the inverter. The input DC voltage is center tabbed as shown here. VA0, VB0, VC0 in the inverter are called pole voltages. It is the potential difference between the center point of two switches in one leg and ground. You can directly control these pole voltages by controlling the gate voltages of IGBT switches. For example, when the first leg upper transistor S1 turns on, by giving the gate voltage, then VA0 is equal to plus VB2. When the first leg lower transistor S2 turns on, by giving the gate voltage, then VA0 is equal to minus VB2. Similarly for the second leg and third leg transistors. But what we need to control is the frequency of line voltages VAB, VBC and VCA. We can write VAB as VA0 minus VB0, VBC as VB0 minus VC0, and VCA as VC0 minus VA0. And we need to keep in mind that three line voltages should have 120 degree phase shift. So VBC will have 120 degree phase shift with respect to VAB and VCA should have 120 degree phase shift with respect to VBC or in other words VCA should have 240 degree phase shift with respect to VAB. From these equations, we can say that if we control the pole voltages by controlling the gate voltages of IGBT switches, then it is possible to control the frequency of line voltages. So the question in our mind should be how the controlled gate voltages are generated using six step switching so that we can control the pole voltages and hence the frequency of line voltages. In six step switching, there is no specific fashion as PWM. Instead, they are generated to get the pole voltages as shown here. First, pole voltage VA0 has to be generated in such a manner that it gets plus VB2 by turning on the switch S1 in the first leg for 180 degree. Minus VB2 by turning on the switch S2 in the first leg for next 180 degree and so on. This is why sometimes it's called 180 degree conduction mode. Similarly, VB0 has to be generated and should have 120 degree phase shift with respect to VA0. Here, switch S3 in the second leg has to be turned on by giving the gate voltage to get plus VB2. And switch S4 in the second leg to be turned on by giving the gate voltage to get minus VB2. The same is applicable for the pole voltage VC0 and VC0 should have 120 degree phase shift with respect to VB0. Again, I need to remind you that what we need to control is the frequency of line voltages VAB, VBC and VCA where VAB is equal to VA0 minus VB0. So VA0 will have plus V for 120 degree, 0 for 60 degree, minus V for 120 degree, 0 for 60 degree and so on. Similarly, we get VBC by subtracting VB0 minus VC0 and we get VCA by subtracting VC0 minus VA0. To know how to control the frequency of line voltages, let's take single line voltage VAB which is equal to VA0 minus VB0 as shown here. 
This is the one time period which is equal to 1 divided by frequency for line voltage VAB. To increase the frequency of VAB as shown, then we need to increase the switching frequency of S1, S2, S3 and S4 or in other words, we need to decrease the switching time of S1, S2, S3 and S4 as shown here. I think now you understand how to control the line frequency by controlling the switching frequency of switches using 6 step switching. Still many of them will have a question why this method is called 6 step switching. The reason is behind the phase voltages VAN, VBN and VCN. Please make a note that the load here that is induction motor will always see the phase voltages. So let's see in detail about the phase voltage VAN. We can write VAN as VA0 minus VN0, VBN as VB0 minus VN0, VCN as VC0 minus VN0. From these equations, we can write VN0 is equal to VA0 minus VAN, VN0 is equal to VB0 minus VBN, VN0 is equal to VC0 minus VCN. Adding these equations, we will get 3 VN0 is equal to VA0 plus VB0 plus VC0 minus of VAN plus VBN plus VCN. For a balanced three phase operation, we can say VAN plus VBN plus VCN is equal to 0. Substituting this, we will get VN0 is equal to VA0 plus VB0 plus VC0 divided by 3. Substituting this equation in equation 1, we get VAN is equal to 2 by 3 VA0 minus 1 by 3 of VB0 plus VC0. Here, we have derived the equation for phase voltage VAN. Ok, now let's see that in waveform. We know the voltage waveform of VA0. From equation 7, we can draw the VN0 which will have plus V by 6 and minus V by 6 as shown here. Phase voltage VAN is equal to VA0 minus VN0. So, VAN will have 6 step for one time period as shown here. This is the reason for the name 6 step switching. Ok, in the next video we will see the current source inverter fed induction motor drive. You can download this PPT and PDF from the link given in the description. So please subscribe to my channel, have a smile and have a good day.